I find it interesting that The Boss and Bad Moms, both movies that came out this year that have Kristen Bell in them, both have a scene that deals with a bra. Melissa McCarthy tries to fix Kristen Bell's bra in The Boss, and now there's a scene in Bad Moms where Kristen Bell and Katherine Hahn are trying to fix Mila Kunis's bra. Hmm. Coincidence much? Yeah. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Bad Moms. So Bad Moms stars Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, Katherine Hahn, and Christina Applegate. And Bad Moms is about Mila Kunis. She is this very caring mother that is always running back and forth because, you know, she has to deal with all these things. Going to work and going to these PTAs, uh, dropping off her kids. You know, she's a very busy mom. But then then one day life just gets too much for Mila Kunis so she pushes away all the responsibilities meets Kristen Bell and Katherine Hahn these three moms feel very underappreciated so they push away all the responsibilities and they become bad moms now bad moms is a movie I personally didn't have much expectations for I didn't hate the trailers I went into this movie thinking it would be meh I had very meh expectations not good not bad, just very meh, to be honest. But I will say, I didn't really get a single laugh from the trailers. It's just one of those things where even though I didn't laugh at anything, I just felt very meh towards this movie. And honestly, coming out of Bad Moms, that's exactly how I felt. I just felt this was a very meh comedy. Definitely, when it comes to the positives, Mila Kunis is really good in this film. She's really good as this mom that's very caring for her kids. This mom that just runs everywhere and you actually feel very, very bad for her character. And you can actually understand why she doesn't care about the responsibilities for a while because she's been feeling very underappreciated from her kids, from her husband. That's something too. I could see moms actually relating to this film. So I think this is a very nice film that I think moms can actually really enjoy. You know, I think even if you're not a mom, you could still appreciate this film, but I think this film's definitely gonna connect a lot with mainly mothers. And I thought Bad Moms definitely succeeds with that. Kristen Bell is absolutely delightful in this film. One thing I have to say is I'm a huge fan of Kristen Bell. I've always been a sucker for her. I think she's a gorgeous woman. I think she's very funny. She has a lot of personality to her and Bad Moms clearly shows why I love Kristen Kristen Bell because her personality truly shines in this movie because she plays that mother that's weird. She's actually a very lonely mother and you feel bad for her because she doesn't really have any friends and Mila Kunis and Katherine Hahn showing her how to loosen up and it's just very funny. These things that her character experiences for the first time, so funny in my opinion. And there's actually a scene she does that I'm not going to spoil, but there's this one scene she does that had everyone in my audience when I went to my advanced screen for this film clapping. She actually had a clap worthy moment in this film and you might know what it is if you've seen Bad Moms, but Kristen and Belle she definitely knows it. And I have to say, Katherine Hahn, who I thought was going to annoy the living shit out of me, she surprised me. I'm actually surprised at how much she actually made me laugh. Like, there were actually enough moments where I actually got laughs out of Katherine Hahn. And Katherine Hahn's definitely different because she's that type of mom that has that I don't give a fuck attitude. This is what makes them such a really good trio. I love this trio because they're all moms, they're all stressed out, but they each have different personalities. So Mila Kunis being the carried and stressed out one, Kristen Bell being the lonely and weird one, and Katherine Hahn just being the mother that doesn't really care 
care about what anyone else thinks. They're all opposites, all mothers, and they bond very well. And that's something I have to say. Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, and Katherine Hahn all have really good chemistry. You buy them as these moms that just want to have a good time. And it does create for some funny moments, to be honest. And that's the next thing I'll say. There are some moments that I thought were funny about this film. There were definitely moments where when the humor did actually hit for me, I found myself laughing quite hard. And just some moments in general I found enjoyable. There were some moments in this film I thought were either very enjoyable or very funny. Christina Applegate, I'm gonna get to her character later, but her performance was actually really good. Because look, we have to look at it this way. The script tells her to play a very mean leader of the PTA, which I'll get more into her character. But for what she is doing, when you really look at her performance, despite what you may think of the character, she actually did do a really good job. The daughter of Mila Kunis, once again, her character didn't really care for, but the performance was actually really good. And she's actually played by the actress that played Jake Gyllenhaal's daughter in Southpaw last year, who was freaking amazing. So this actress, she's definitely going places in her career. She did a really good job as Mila Kunis' daughter. The son, he was fine. He was all right. And Katherine Hahn's son, he was fine as well. The direction in this film is actually very good. I actually really liked how the movie was directed. It was directed very smoothly. And the last thing I definitely do have to credit Bad Moms is its messages about how no mother is perfect. No matter how hard a mother tries to provide for their family or make their kids happy, they're gonna make mistakes. And the movie actually has a very impressive message about how it's okay to make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Life isn't going to go the way it is. You just try. All you do in life is try. You're going to make mistakes no matter what. And I thought that moms really addressed that very well. That really surprised me. Now, as much as I admire the good things about bad moms, there are unfortunately a lot of problems with them. Okay, the first thing I noticed that really, really irritated me about this film is the cinematography. Wow, the cinematography was bad and bad mobs, and I am talking really, really bad. Now, sometimes it's okay. Like when we get to the party scene with the moms having fun, that was fine looking. It looked okay. There was never one shot in bad moms that made me go, oh, that was good. That was really good. Nah, there are some shots that were fine. But for the most part, I thought the cinematography was really bad. It was really glossy. It's ironic when some of the very, very bad comedies have better cinematography than this film. Vacation, another film with Christina Applegate. That film was shit. I hated that movie. But the cinematography in that film was really good. So how is it that a shitty comedy has better cinematography than a mediocre comedy? That's sad. That's really sad. There are also some characters in this film that really get on my nerves. Clark Duke as Mila Kunis' boss really got on my nerves did not like him in this film. Christina Applegate. Now, like I said, I really like her performance, but her character as the leader of the PTA, oh my God, she was so annoying. She was so obnoxious. I just couldn't believe how unrealistic and cartoony this character was. Jada Pinkett Smith, her performance is fine. You know, she wasn't anything special, but her character was bad. And the other one, I forget the name, you know, she's the one with Jada Pinkett Smith and Christina Applegate. While she made me laugh a few times, I got annoyed by her. And even Katherine Hahn sometimes, just sometimes, 
she does get on my nerves as well. Also, yes, a lot of the humor, in my opinion, didn't really hit for me. I wasn't really laughing. I thought for a lot of the movie, it tried way too hard to be funny. It has this thing that comedies tend to do a lot for some reason. And it's not funny. It's just aggravating where characters just keep talking and talking and talking to make the joke funnier when it's not. It just gets very irritating. I just finished saying how the movie had a really good message about it's okay for mothers to make mistakes, how nobody is perfect. But man, the ending. What happened with the ending? You were setting up for something very thought provoking. This is a comedy and it was setting up for something very thought provoking. Then you had to do the typical, oh, everything is fine and dandy and everything is working out just so well. Just really? That's what you were setting up. You had a really good message in this film and you end it like all sunshine and rainbows. PTA storyline is so stupid. This was an absolutely pointless plot. We didn't need this and it's so unrealistic. I was actually laughing a few times because of how unrealistic, how cartoony this PTA subplot is. Like the shit you see in this film wouldn't happen in real life. So I didn't get the point of us getting the stupid PTA plot. It was not needed and it felt like even more filler because you know, even though you have other things going on in this film, that still felt like a, a main plot. Like, it didn't even feel like a subplot. It felt like a second main plot, I guess you could say. Because you know what else happens in this film? We also have to deal with the story of Mila Kunis having to run for the PTA because she can't take any more Christina Applegate's actions. So she's running for the PTA. So we got that storyline going for it. And every time the movie cuts to the PTA, I'm just all like, just cut this out. Just cut it out. We don't need it. The movie could have been more straightforward. It could have dealt more with Mila Kunis's family. It could have dealt with just your normal mom life. Because when the movie just focuses on the moms having fun, or when it focuses on Mila Kunis dealing with her normal mother life, like pretty much something a lot of mothers go through. Those were really good stuff in this film. But when the movie focuses on the PTA stuff, it is not entertaining to watch. Also, we find out later in the film why Christina Applegate acts like such an obnoxious bitch to everyone. Literally, why she acts that way. But by the time we get to that point, I don't even give a shit because, you know, she acted so bad. And I don't want to spoil anything, but there's certain things that she does that does affect Mila Kunis' family life in the film. And when she did that, and after all that is explained, I'm all like, nope. After what you did, there is no way in hell I'm buying this. Just nope. And honestly, although it's not as huge of a flaw as like all the other flaws I just finished mentioning, didn't really care for Mila Kunis' kids. I thought the daughter acted very well. The son was fine. But the kids' characters... Didn't really care for them. They just felt like kids that served for the storyline. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the husband really annoyed me as well. And overall, you guys, Bad Moms has a lot of major issues that keep this movie from being a really enjoyable comedy. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it either. So because I do think it's an okay comedy with some enjoyable stuff to it, I will give Bad Moms two out of four stars. It's not memorable. It's a very forgettable comedy, but yeah, you know, it's, it's whatever. It was meh. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about Bad Moms? So this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.